everybody, Backyard Bullion here. Now today we have some really exciting news to share regarding the hallmarking of our hand poured silver as well as the big reveal of our latest puzzle product, the Triangular Puzzle Boards. Really excited to showcase these. But first, the big news of the week is that the Edinburgh Assay Office has reopened, albeit on a skeleton staff. We'll talk a little bit about that as we go throughout the video, what that means. In a nutshell, it means that we can get things made again and hallmarked for those who don't know all of our hand poured silver is sent up there for assay testing and hallmarking. And without that, we cannot sell it here in the UK. So it's really exciting to have them reopen. They will have slow turnaround times, but we can get these special marks put on our silver once again, which is really exciting. And because we weren't able to do that, it meant that we weren't able really to forecast forward for 2020. So even though the turnaround times will be very, very slow, we can at least start thinking about the rest of the year, what we're going to do, what we're going to make. And uh, one of those major product uh, sort of projects that we were going to do is the silver forum bars, the 100 gram, the rounds, and we've already done the one ounce bars. So if you want a quick update on those, that will come at the end. Well, I say I'm pointing to the description. It'll come at the end of the video. We're going to give an update on the one ounce bars as well. But because 2020 has been the year of craziness so far and we weren't able to make new products, we were looking into the stock, the kind of archive of things that we already had hallmarked and what we could do with them. And we had a whole bunch of these triangle pieces, which I wanted to make a triangle puzzle board uh, last year, but we postponed it. I put it off. I, you know, it just got left behind. And this quarantine lockdown period has yielded these to be completed and I'm really, really chuffed with the way they look. It's a very challenging puzzle game where you match all the different numbers up. You can see they're all matching side by side and I will give it a go and try and solve this one. I don't think I'm gonna be able to solve it whilst talking as well. It's a pretty complex puzzle. And then we've got slightly smaller versions here, a nine piece set. And then a really, e this <laughs> the, the four piece set is, was an idea I had because obviously we want to cover all the different weight ranges, um, but it's a really very easy puzzle to make. It's not particularly a uh, puzzle, but it does look pretty cool, I have to say. Uh, so yeah, really excited to show these. First though, I just want to um, say a big thank you to Dad for all of his hard work creating all of the uh, wooden boards for these. And they went through many iterations of testing to try and get them uh, finished for a couple of reasons. One, uh, Dad has not done triangular 60 degree mitres before, so these angles here. So he had to do a lot of experimentation to make sure that those were perfect and he's done a really good job. Secondly, uh, the size of these boards was an interesting one because um, I thought it would be really easy. We know the sides of the triangle, so we'll just extrapolate from that and get Dad to make the board. But as you can see, they kind of twist and turn in on each other because of the different sizes and depths of the pieces and the hand poured silver nature of it. So they're not perfectly triangular. Um, so it was really difficult to get a board which fits. So I just want to say a big thank you to Dad for all of his really, really hard work getting these boards done. Uh, really nice, fine English oak. Now, before we go on and play with these boards, I do want to say that they are uh, for sale. They are listed on my website right now. If they've not already been snapped up, you can go and purchase them. We can take commissions of them if one of the set sizes that you wanted is already sold. Uh, but as I said earlier, and we'll talk again about this as we go throughout, the turnaround times will be very, very high. The big 16 piece set here, which I'm about to play with, weighs around 24 ounces of silver. So they are not cheap products. They take a long time to make each individual piece. The amount of worksmanship and time that goes into these boards from Dad as well needs to be taken into consideration. But we really like them and we really hope you guys uh, do as well. Even if you're not gonna purchase them, if you do like them, just let us know. Uh, we always want to try and push the boat out and do something a little bit more fun and practical with our silver. So I'm going to attempt to play this game and finish it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Um, I will give you all a little bit of a secret into the backyard bullion filming way of life. I did just try uh, to film and succeed in solving this and talking at the same time. It was a monumental failure. Uh, I have solved this puzzle a number of times, once or twice quite quickly as well, but it's not that easy and it does take a lot of brain power to focus. So I'm going to try and uh, talk as well. Uh, so it's not just boring, but um, yeah, let's crack on with it. So as I said, if you want to uh, pick some of these up, then you can. Uh, we can make them to order. It's one of the benefits now of the Edinburgh Assay Office being 
open once again. By the way, I'm not working. Look, uh, honestly, I'm not working for any photos. My phone is off. Uh, it's out the way over on the side. I am going to attempt this for real and uh, we'll see if it works. Uh, but now the Edinburgh office is reopened. It does mean that we can start making new products commissions. So not just these puzzle boards, but things like the Tetris sets. I'd already had a lot of people who uh, were incredibly patient and very, very good. And I want to thank every single person who has been pre-ordering and ordering and, you know, understanding that it could be months and months of waiting for products to come in. I want to say a big thank you to everybody for all of that patience because it's, uh, it's, it is challenging to manage and have uh, product lines with no real idea of an exact release date for things. So, yeah, th there's a lot to uh, to consider, and I do want to say thank you to everybody for being so patient. It really is amazing. So, on that side of things, if you wanted to have things like hearts made, we uh, obviously do loads of like special anniversary style presents and gifts and uh, handmade, hand poured hearts, things like that. We can do those again. We can get those turned around in probably about eight weeks is my estimate. That's the kind of running estimate that we, we got from the Ed Edinburgh Assay Office. But I do think it's going to be quite a lot more, uh, sort of longer than that in certain cases, certainly in maybe the first submissions, uh, because we, uh, you know, we like many other businesses out there that sell online, craftsmen that sell online, they'll be eager to get started again and start cracking on and making their items and selling them. So I don't think we're going to be alone in our submission, um, you know, schedule. I think there's going to be an awful lot of people out there trying to put silver through the Edinburgh Assay Office, which is really good. It's going to get obviously things kickstarted again in terms of uh, economies and oh, this is the this is the testing bit. Have we got enough numbers to solve the outside parts? So we've got six up there, got a five there, and we're missing another five. Okay, so we're not quite there with this solution. Uh, this is the really annoying thing about this puzzle. It, it probably has very, very many mathematical solutions, and I'm no mathematical genius or expert, um, but please let me know if you, can, if you can do or if you've done the maths, even if it's possible to do maths, see how many solutions there are for this puzzle. This is kind of the stage I got to in the first take of the, uh, of the video I did, uh, and then it kind of fell to pot, really. So, um, yeah, I'm not entirely convinced I'm ever going to solve this live on camera um, because it's very challenging. I might do at some point a video where uh, we just have the camera rolling as I try and solve it and then, uh, you know, people can uh, see it being solved at least. And it, it is definitely solvable and I've solved it in a multitude of different solutions. Uh, so it's definitely a solvable puzzle. It is just uh, a pretty challenging one to do when you're talking at the camera as well. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on these uh, puzzle boards down in the comment section. I would really love to know them. And if um, you would like to have one, just let me know. Uh, it will take a while, as I said, but that's life at the moment. Uh, I think everybody's been really understanding about these type of things. And there's a lot of people out there in this world. Oh, right, we're back again with this. So I think this is all matching up internally. Yeah, uh, right. So we've got six up there. Uh, we're we're I haven't even got the other numbers, have we? So we could have, uh, yeah, now we've got six there and we've got six, six, three. So we haven't got enough of everything. Oh, it's very challenging. Right. Okay. I am going to actually now cheat and I'm just going to uh, get a photograph out and solve it as we just talk for the end of the, uh, of the video. So in terms of things that I want to work on going forward, I did say I'd give a little bit of an update and um, sneak peek at the uh, one ounce silver foreign bars. So we are going to be producing the 100 gram bars, but for now, oh, 200 ounces worth of one ounce bars are done, just about. Just need to take their photographs and get them all polished up and ready to go. But by the time this video goes live, those will have been published over on the Silver Forum, and I will be releasing next Sunday a full video more about those. So I know there's gonna be a lot of you out here on YouTube land who will want to uh, get hold of those, and I understand that, but because of the times that we're living in, we are going to be phasing the release of them for uh, people who want to grab, grab hold of them, and uh, we'll just have to go from there because it will be a uh, it will be a hard time for a lot of people to get everything they want and we just want to make sure that nobody's completely let down so a big update on those coming next week but it does mean that we can uh, go for the rest of the year and actually 
plan, which is a, a, a major thing that we haven't been able really to do. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing the 100 gram silver forum bars. And I know that's been asked of me an awful lot of times by people. Um, do you know what? It's even hard trying to look at a photo and do it whilst talking on camera as well. There we go. That's the piece I was looking for. Um, yeah, so we are going to be doing the 100 gram silver forum bars. Uh, we would love to be able to get uh, all of the Silver Forum products that we would normally do done um, by the end of the year. But um, again, it's all going to be fluid with the Edinburgh office. We don't exactly know uh, how things will turn out. There could be further delays. There could be further lockdowns. The staff at the Edinburgh office are working on a volunteer basis up there, which is uh, a really incredible thing for them to do. You know, ultimately, they've got to put their staff welfare first. Um, Scotland, I think, is a little bit ahead of the game in terms of trying to get economies kick-started and rolling again, which is, of course, vitally important for the whole world. Um, so, yeah, lots of interesting times ahead, and I do think there's going to be, um, I do think there's going to be a pretty good turnaround for the rest of the, uh, the year. I think things will just start to get a little easier. We all, we've all experienced the really hard bits, and now things are going to start to get a little bit easier as we go throughout the rest of the year, which is really nice. So hopefully wherever you are in this big wide world, uh, the world is starting to make a little bit more sense. And if not right now, hopefully it will be in the not too distant future, starting to make a little more sense like this puzzle. And here we go, we are nearly there. And that one goes there, and then I can do this last one without even looking at the photo. There you go. So it is solvable. These other puzzles are equally as fun, although that one's really easy to solve. This one is uh, it's really interesting, actually, the, the different um, techniques on the puzzles. Um, this one here is easier, when I've been doing it off camera anyway, to work from the inside out. If you get that middle piece with these three numbers matching all around it, it's a lot easier to solve. But this one, there is no brand, uh, sorry, some brand new, there's, there's no middle piece. So you have to work from the outside in. And it was really interesting when Mrs. Backyard Bullion was play testing them, she found uh, this puzzle here easier than the big one, but I found this one harder than the big one, which was, uh, I think, a really interesting and uh, sort of telltaling uh, thing about the puzzles. So there we go. As I said at the start of the video, if you're interested in these particular sets, they are listed on our website. You can go and see uh, all of those listings. There's a link down in the description below. For the very, very best prices, though, feel free to email me directly and we can cut out PayPal. So my website does, unfortunately, have to include PayPal fees. Otherwise, if you'd like to commission anything, just let me know. You can get in touch via email, byb at backyardbullion.com, or you can hit me up over on the Silver Forum. And talking of the Silver Forum, uh, we have got the one ounce bars available and listed for Silver Forum members, and there'll be a big update video next week. So make sure you stop by the Silver Forum and have a look. If you've already, uh, if you already own one of these one ounce bars, then there will be uh, lots of information that you'll be very, very keen to hear, I have no doubt, on the forum. So that's it from us today. Thank you one and all for watching. Uh, my usual shout out to all healthcare and key workers out there in this big wide world. Thank you for keeping us healthy, safe and fed. It's really very, very good of you all. Otherwise, that's it from us. Thank you for watching. Have a great week ahead. And as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.